So today we're going to talk about the feminine noun endings, just like we talked about the masculine noun endings, works the same way. So whenever you see those endings that we're going to go through in a second, uh, your article will be D. So the first two examples are the IE and the EI endings. The IE ending uh, we have, for example, in the German word for chemistry, which is Chemie, and the EI ending, for example, in die Bäckerei. The height and the kite endings are pretty cool because we can use adjectives to make nouns. So gesund, healthy, becomes Gesundheit, health. Or freundlich becomes Freundlichkeit, so friendly becomes friendliness. The UNG ending works similar to that, however we take a verb and make it into a noun. So buchen becomes Buchung. The IN ending is very common and we see it a lot of times in professions, such as the Eisverkäuferin. The ION ending or ION ending uh, can be seen, for example, in the Bahnstation. And the Schaft ending, for example, in the Landschaft. An example for ELLE or ELLE would be die Tabelle. And IK can be found in the Romantik. ADE or ADE can be found in die Schokolade. And AGE, for example, in Reportage. So that's more of a French pronunciation here. With this one, you might think it's pronounced French as well, but for example, here we have die Clarinette. So, ETTE. E and Z. Uh, can be found, for example, in the existence and the ERE, or oftentimes the, just the RE ending. Uh, here's an example for die Beere, Himbeere, Erdbeere, any Beere. And an example for INE or INE would be die Apfelsine. Then we have ISSE, such as die Hornisse. And TÄT, uh, as in die Aktivität. And ITES can be found in die Bronchitis. And then we have IVE, which can be found in Initiative. And also the SE ending, for example, in die Krise. And I think that should be enough for today. Um, and I will talk about the neuter noun endings in another episode.